Welcome to Cinemagna. In today's video, we will showcase the world premiere video of the 2022 American fantasy comedy film titled Turning Red. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when new videos are released. Turning Red is a 2022 American computer animated fantasy comedy film produced by Walt Disney Pictures and Pixar Animation Studios and distributed by Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures on Disney+. The film is directed by Domi Shi in her featured directorial debut, from a screenplay written by herself and Julia Cho. Turning Red stars the voices of Rosalie Chang, Sandra Oh, Ava Morse, Maitrayi Ramakrishnan, Haim Park, Orion Lee, Wai Ching Ho, and James Hong. It is the first Pixar picture directed exclusively by a woman, the first to be set in Canada, and the second after up to feature an Asian lead character. Turning Red is scheduled to be released on Disney Plus in countries where the service is available on March 11, 2022, along with a simultaneous limited run at the El Capitan Theater. It will be released theatrically in countries without the streaming service. Without much further ado, please enjoy the Turning Red World premiere video.
I mean, I have so much adrenaline right now. I, I, I'm probably going to go to sleep and think this is all a dream. I mean, four years, I've been working on this film for four years, and to finally be here at the world for premiere is surreal. Just the heart in it. I feel like it talks about change that everyone deals with, but most of the thing is, Anyone can watch it and just have a good time. Like, it's funny. It's, there's not a dull moment. It's, it's like all these genres combined into one movie, and it's just a fun time. Um, I think the main theme, I think there's so, uh, so many people can take different messages from this film. I've talked to so many reporters, and they have different messages, and I think that's a wonderful thing about the story. But for me, I think the biggest thing is that it's change. The Red Panda um, represents change because everyone goes through change in their life, and it's going to be messy and awkward, and you're going to hate it. But at the end of the day, it's okay because everyone goes through it. It's so fantastic. You know, honestly, it's been a tough t couple years for everyone to be able to be out on Hollywood Boulevard celebrating turning red, uh, being screened at El Capitan. It is such a thrill, a thrill in my life to be a part of it. I'm just trying to take it all in. Oh, I think for a lot of reasons. One, we can hear some of it. It's music. Um, the fact that it focuses on the inner life of a 13-year-old Chinese-Canadian girl, that it's about, you know, magical pandas. Um, and, you know, uh, growing up, I think that's all, those are all special elements. Of course, the film is set in uh, 2002 in Toronto. And Mei Lin, uh, the 13-year-old protagonist, really she just wants to go to a concert throughout the whole, that's, that's her objective for the whole film. And so music is such an elemental part, I think, about adolescence, when you're trying to find your identity and your friends, and that is a real big focus of the film. Oh, it's just for people to, to enjoy it and I mean everyone's good I, I feel like speaking to people everyone is 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 bringing their own experience to it I you know if you are a millennial if you are a teenager or if you are a parent you will approach this film in a slightly different way yeah so some of the themes of turning red are friendship we we're seeing a very like healthy strong girl group um, and that's absolutely amazing girl power <laughs> and then we're seeing lots of boy bands and fun and connecting through that is another thing that the girls love um, some family and cultural stuff that um, kind of finding your way in a new world but still sticking close to what you um, call home and what you like identify as and that's an amazing thing to be able to portray and I think Domi did an incredible job at doing that through the screen and through this movie um, I'm really excited for them to see all the like 2000s references and the 90s references because it's all like it's such a fun time era that like Pixar hasn't really done before like a full movie set in this world of like um, Canada and in the 90s and 2000s and it's just like so fun to be able to pick out all those little easter, easter eggs where like the older audience might be like oh my gosh like I used to have one of those which is kind of fun and it's gonna be cool so it's kind of something for everybody. This is so surreal to me like I feel like it's still like not happening like this can't be real. This is sort of like a normal-ish world first of all and this is like my first ever premiere of a project that I'm in which is insane and it's with Pixar there's a bunch of red pandas everywhere like this can't be real come on no way. 100%. I mean, important female friendships, positive female friendships. We're talking coming of age stories that we all can relate to. We're always coming of age. A story about a family, a matriarchal family, you know, the importance of that mother-daughter relationship. There is so much to grab from. It's, it's wild. I am so excited for them to just, A, of course, laugh. First and foremost, I want them to laugh. Feel out all the heartwarming moments because it's a Pixar movie. You know it's going to have those sad, heartwarming moments. We all know it. And just honestly see themselves in these characters that are so genuine and authentic. Domi, she did such a great job creating these characters and I could not be more proud. Oh, it is, it is amazing. I think this movie is really something else that really speaks to a lot of the girls out there and the true um, friendship of the girls in the most authentic way. And I'm really proud, uh, proud to have worked on it. So this is pretty amazing for me right now. For me, it's... The, the lesson that the movie teaches, and I don't want to spoil it too much, but uh, to be able to embody uh, the, the true self and being most authentic self and to be vulnerable in front of your friends and to own up to mistakes that you make, which are the, some of the hardest things that you can do as a human being, and I think this movie kind of teaches that lesson in a, a very fun, loving way, so that's, that's why I feel it's so special. Sure, okay, so basically May, she turns into this red panda when she can't control her emotions, which is like, you know, teenagers, adolescents, it's what, 
I, I go through it every week, if not multiple times a week. It's awesome. I feel like we all as adolescents have red pandas inside of us that come out. And yeah, it's awesome. It's a really great film and uh, I hope that people walking away from it can um, appreciate their friends and themselves and their families and their heritage and all that kind of stuff as they're growing up and maturing and figuring stuff out. It's so incredible. It's surreal. How right? can we even be here, like in person, not on a Zoom screen? Right. It's amazing, especially because we made the, the film from home uh, in our in our guest rooms, yeah. on our kitchen tables. So it's With just madness just behind us and the kids running around and dogs barking and all of it. Yeah. yeah. But we're here, and it, we're dressed up, and we're in person, and it's super exciting. This is so fun to be able to actually watch the movie with an audience. Yeah, yeah I mean, in how specific it is, it's a coming-of-age story about this Chinese-Canadian girl going through magical puberty. But I think uh, there's a universal appeal to that that story of, like, we've all been there. We've all been 13. Yeah, uh, Ludwig Göransson uh, wrote an amazing score that really combined... I don't even know how he's able to combine early aughts yeah. pop music with okay. Chinese instruments and Western orchestra, yeah. and he made it all he's sing. He's a magician. Like, he's a magician. Yeah. And then we have, obviously, these four-town songs. We have three songs in the in the movie that are original four-town songs that were written by uh, Billie Eilish and Phineas. Um, so that was super exciting, because you can't have a story about a 13-year-old girl without having a boy band. You know, it's so cool. I have known about the film for about two years now, and like it's finally out. I finally get to see it, um, and it was just such a thrill to be able to sing with the rest of the boy band. So, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I'm excited. Sure, it's a coming of age story um, about like a mother and daughter, um, and it's great because it's also like an Asian film, and so I'm just excited to see that representation on screen. So. It's just a great story. <laughs> yeah, so May is growing up and she's going through a lot of changes with her body and emotions. And um, she, you know, gets ex and when she gets excited, she turns into this giant red panda. And so, yeah, it's just like really uh, such a fun way to uh, kind of make that picture for like that growing up sort of like story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am most excited for them to hear the music. Um, that Billie Eilish and Phineas put together uh, and that the boy band sings. It's just very much of that era and it's just like so fun. It's just super fun. It's great. <laughs> It's, a, it's awfully great to be out here outside with everybody in public and without masks for a minute at least until we go inside. It's really jubilant. And especially with this movie, which we have been looking forward to releasing and letting everybody see for so long. So, yeah. fantastic. Well, Domi, Domi she, the, the director, uh, she worked on Inside Out, so I got to see her firsthand. The way her brain works is very mysterious, very specific but brilliant, and this movie is a real reflection of her, but very universal at the same time. I'm a huge fan of, of coming-of-age movies like this, and she just nails everything so beautifully, especially from, from a female perspective. It's, it's just lovely and, and a wonderful film. We're really proud of it. Yeah, I think what, the, what, what I, this film has always spoken to me because it feels like something every kid goes through getting to that point where you kind of are changing and you have to differentiate yourself from your parents a little bit. You have to kind of become your own person and even though you still love them and want to respect them and regard them. So it's, it, it, it has all that and she did a beautiful job telling that story. And Jim's got two daughters, I've got a daughter. We both, we've been through it. So it's very familiar. It's very familiar. I think one, for our films, this has a little bit of a different uh, look stylistically, which I think will be fun. It's completely reflective of Domi and an interesting animation style. It still, it still feels like a Pixar movie, but it's got a little bit of a difference. It's got her thumbprint on it in a really special way. Yeah, I agree. It's a Pixar film with a twist. <laughs> First off, Pixar is legendary. I'm the biggest fan of Pixar. I'm a kid on the inside, so this is all a dream. Animation, like my favorite movie ever is animated. So this is all just like full circle moment. A uh, very special moment for me. Um, I love the fact that the main character is not trying to filter or censor her mess. I think that that's really cool. She kind of just like learns to express herself and gives herself time to. And I feel like us as adults, are still trying to do that. I am, anyways. Um, that's really cool. And then the mother-daughter relationship is really special. Um, I have a super close relationship with my mom, so I relate to that. 
Um, those are those are like my favorite themes of the film. Um, a sense of family, a sense of grace with yourself. I think that's my favorite part. I, that's something I try to exercise even now in my life and in my career is even if it gets crazy, if it gets chaotic, it's all a part of the story. So I, I think, I hope people take that away. Sense of family and the music's cool too. Shout out to Billy and Phineas. It's almost overwhelming. I mean, we worked on it for quite a while and for much of that time we were in our home Zooming. And so the idea that the movie is actually real and being out in the world is just incredibly exciting and we're just so happy to be here. Well, I feel like the thematic part of it was such a joy because it was a, the opportunity to really dig into our own childhoods, our own relationships. And so just using all of that was just wonderful. And I couldn't have asked for a better, more supportive environment to also explore all of those awkward, dark, moments of growing up and I have to say it's amazing to see how what was kind of painful has ended up being such a joyful movie so I'm not sure how that transformation happened but I'm really grateful for it well I think that the inner panda was a great metaphor for all of us because every single person on the crew male female whatever age could identify with having grown grown up with some part of themselves that was awkward and uncomfortable and messy and so I think it was just a great way for the movie to like let us all embrace our own inner pandas and really support each other's messiness um, even through the process so yeah it was a metaphor for the movie but also I feel like touched all of us personally. Well it's incredible to be here and we've been I've been working on this for about two years I mean I know Domi and all the animators been for much longer but, and we've been, you know, hunkered in for a long time, and it's just so nice to be out here, you know, in the middle of the street and celebrate with, with everyone. Well, it was, it was really special because the, the movie is, is about, you know, her growing up in, in, in Canada, and, and, you know, t we're both born in the 80s, so it's, it's, it's a lot of, you know, the mu I wanted the music to feel kind of like a, a mixtape of Mace Hart. So kind of music-wise, genre-wise, it has a huge spectrum, you know, we're going from like New Jack Swing type of beats, portraying uh, May and how May is at school and how May is with her friends, but then there's also this traditional Chinese flute kind of portraying Ming, May's mom, and the way Ming sees May and then, and then um, and the her, her, her heritage and traditions. Oh, it's so amazing. This is my first premiere. So yeah, and um, this is a project I've worked on for a while, so I'm so excited to get to be here and just in celebrate with everyone. Well, there's a lot about family, there's a lot about loss and identity and finding your way, and then coming back home to yourself, coming back home to family in a way. Even though uh, Mei Mei is a young girl, there's still, you know, you're detached. And then also mom gets to come back, family comes back to help in a time when we're very disconnected, I think. So this is um, the joyful part of the, of the movie. Come on, it's a Pixar premiere. Are you kidding? This is what I grew up on, and to be a part of it on the red carpet, it truly is a dream come true to just be you know, a, a small part of this movie. It's such a big moment. Like We've never seen this kind of narrative on the Pixar screen, so uh, I'm just truly thrilled. I mean, first of all, turning red, that's definitely symbolism for, you know, those teenage years when we're, you know, going through some things. Uh, so I feel like it's relatable to every single person in the audience. And, you know, to do, the, do it in such a creative, smart, clever way, I mean, it just, it's brilliant. The movie's phenomenal. It's so funny. It has the humor. It has the heart. And it's centered around a Chinese family. That's truly never been done. So I'm just so excited to be a part of it. Absolutely. I mean, everyone wants to turn into a red panda at some point in their life, at some point in the day, you know, and, and it's a matter of embracing it, you know, and just kind of feeling liberated to be yourself and feel free in that way. So it's definitely uh, insightful as well, you know, and, and just to be able to play one of May's aunties in the movie. It's just, it's super fun. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is my very first red carpet. I am so nervous, but I'm so excited. I brought my grandma, my mom, and my friend here today. Day. And so I'm so honored to like be able to show them my hard work and this like kind of celebration of Asian culture as well. Yeah, so something about Disney that I really love is they have very specific stories that are so grounded but are also so universal. Because coming of age is so universal for everybody. Um, and I, you know, knowing this film, I find myself relating to May, you know what I mean, and the messiness of growing up, but also wanting to honor my culture and my heritage and my family, but also wanting to be wild, have some fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. So 
I sing in the boy band. Um, I'm the bass vocalist for uh, Ford Sound. I play Aaron C. Um, and it's written by Billie Eilish and Phineas. And the songs are absolute bops. There's some fun party tunes. Um, there's some radio hit, and then there's like also a ballad, a really like nice ballad. So I mean, I think what I am excited for them to discover is the nostalgia factor, because a lot of this pulls from 2000 boy bands, and that was such an integral part of like my upbringing, my childhood, as I imagine a lot of people as well. And to kind of relive that and kind of see what their childhood was like as well. Oh yeah, I was I, like, it's a lot of fun. Um, this is my first premiere, so I'm really excited, and um, it's just nice to see. It, it, this is huge. This is like. I like this is bigger than ten times bigger than I expected. So I'm like freaking out. It's crazy. So something I want audiences to do is like when they finish the, the movie, I, I want them to go, oh, I want to talk to my friends or I want to hang out with my family. Like it's it's supposed to be a movie to bring people together. And Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.